What's good everybody, it's your boy Slant, aka Mr. Different, back with another video, and today, it's gonna be a long awaited video, well not really long awaited, more of an update video, I'ma teach you guys how to properly gain stage in your DAW, why? Because, let's just say, I haven't been doing it right for a long time, and I always wondered like, why am I not getting the results that I really want? So I did some more research, I did some more study, and took some time off to really learn this stuff, and you know, really dive deep into it, and I finally, figured out or came to the conclusion or learned how to properly gain stage in the DAW or in the box. So basically with no external hardware or no like consoles or like that, how to actually gain stage in your DAW. Because gain staging in the DAW is completely different from gain staging in like the analog domain, like using consoles and you know, hardware and all that. So it's a little bit of different steps. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to do it. Cause most of you guys watching my videos are like me. We got an audio interface, a MIDI keyboard, a microphone, and then we got a bunch of plugins and DAW. So this should help out you guys. So let's jump to DAW and let's talk about it. So here we are inside FS Studio. I'm gonna show you how to do it inside FS Studio. I might switch over to Studio One and show you how to do it as well, there as well, because those are the two DAWs that I use the most and I love the depth. They're just great DAWs, both of them for their you know own purposes. So what is gain staging? Now gain staging to me, or you know what it really means, I probably put up the real definition on the screen or whatever, I don't know who knows, I might get lazy and forget. But gain staging basically is setting the proper level going into your DAW or going into your plugins or whatever. So basically you wanna set the game to your proper level so you're not clipping or you know distorting before you hit whatever plugin, hardware, whatever you're doing that way. Now, and that's a big thing. Like I said, when the hardware world, you kind of want to clip and all that because that's how you get that nice saturation and warmth that people keep calling their, uh, you know, their hardware and all that. But in uh, the DAW or in the digital realm, there is no analog warmth. It's just straight clipping. So you don't want to clip. Get it. In DAWs, you don't want to clip. That's all you need to worry about. Just don't clip. So how do we go about doing that? Well, simple. We use gain gain now there are different ways of doing it now here's the way that i used to do it that was completely wrong and now i know now here is you say fl studio as we can see right here and here is my mixer channel and i got a little beat i'll play a little beat real quick so i'm not working on for the upcoming video so So basically what I would do is I would route everything to a channel and now I would use these faders right here in order to do my game staging. Now, if you look at my faders, all my faders are pretty much except this one right here are set to or set to zero db why because they are not pre faders these are post faders meaning they actually work after the plugin so these basically change the volume after it goes through all the plugins in your plugin chain so like if i have there's one with a lot of plugins in it right here so basically this gain volume right here will only adjust this uh sound after all these plugins not before so how do we adjust it before because game station we want to adjust the game before it hits our plugins and like that so we don't clip our plugins because clipping your plugins can get you bad results you want to game stage your plugins so how do you do that well in fl studio it's super simple you use the channel rack volume right here now these are pre faders or channel faders or channel volume basically this is the level that's going to be sent into the channel that you route it to and adjust the gain that way as you can see i leave all my gain right here at zero and right over here you see i actually have different volume adjustments they're just slightly here and there and I also do my panning here as well and why I do that because that way it'll go into my plugin and won't clip for example if i duplicate this kick drum let's say let's duplicate this kick drum real quick we'll clone it and then i go to an empty pattern let's say let's go to an empty pattern Boom, and then we'll put it like, we'll go to kick drum, we'll go to yeah, kick drum, and we'll do like a, this like here, and then we'll go to pattern, and then we'll route it to a mixer channel real quick, and then we'll put a EQ plugin, because this is what I've seen somebody do, somebody did this, I think it was uh, Devon Terrell showed this off, so pretty cool. So basically, okay, so here's my kick drum. Now make sure it's on zero so it's leveled out so now it's the zero db now it should clip my plug in well, let's see let's do like this i want to clip that plug in good lord it won't clip my plug in that's a good headroom boost it up that's why yeah i had a soft clip around so as you see it's clipping my plug in so now if i go into the channel volume and actually bring it down some As you can see, it's still clipping the plugin. But if I bring the volume down here, 
and then we bring this back up to zero db it's quieter and no longer clipping my plugin and that's what you want to do you want to use this channel rack to adjust all your volumes going into your plugins that way you don't clip your plugins and do keep in mind that i will put a link to a video check out mixed Buzz tv he did a really good video that goes into super duper deep detail about this like i said this kind of the simple lames layman term or like, like simple deep you know home bedroom producer version of this topic so yeah so that's how you would do um gain staging properly inside of fs studio so let me switch over to studio one and then i will show you how to gain stage inside of studio one because it's basically the same thing but it's a different little bit of a different route so let me do that be right back all right so here we're inside of fs studio i have my little beat set up and i rendered out i uh, got a beat set up and basically i'm gonna show you how to do it so how you do inside fs i mean fs studio how you do it inside of studio one is you will use this button right here called let me just reset it Right here, this is called the input volume knob. You wouldn't use the phase, you use the input volume knob. Now, if you don't see this, if you got version, I think 4.5 or what, I think it's like four, 4.5. If you go right here, it says input control. You click this little tool right here and go to input control and then it'll give you this. And it's basically the same thing as that, you know, channel rack volume knob inside fs studio this is basically a pre-fader. If you don't, if you have an earlier version of studio one, like three or below, which I don't know why, if you paul bought it but um you're probably cracking it but if you got an earlier version of this plugin right here what you want to do is use the mix tool plugin you just go to uh i think it's in personas mix tools and it's a default plugin you use that but this basically takes the need of mix tools away so you would just go in here and adjust the volume right here so press play let's see And that's how you would gain stage, you know, your mixes that way inside, um, FL, uh, inside Studio One. And it's pretty simple, pretty self explanatory, basically the same way. But you would do that because, like I said, these are all post faders. I think you can send them the pre fader. I'm not sure. I think there's a way to send the pre fader, but I think, but. I don't know for sure. I got to do some more reading and digging, but yeah, that's how you do it inside of studio one. So hope you guys learned so real quick. Like I said, this is a quick, dirty, very simple uh, video. Like I say, it's not really too much explaining to go to unless I want to go super technical and detail. I just want to show you guys how to properly gain stage because properly gain stage stuff will result into better sounding recordings, mixes and all that good stuff. And also you have more hearing and your plugins can work properly on top of that. Like, like I said, once you start properly gain staging, your plugins will just work the way they're meant to be working and that's the main thing right there especially if you're like me who's all inside the box mdaw no hardware you definitely want to make sure your plugins are working the way they're supposed to so with that being said hope you guys enjoy like always y'all know who it is your boy slim aka miss different your favorite nappy headed producer like always and if you enjoyed the video thumb the video up, leave a comment if you got any more suggestions of videos i can do in a later time or whatever i'm really trying to go how much I can you know i was kind of sick the last week don't worry i didn't have corona I didn't have the COVID. I was just sore throat allergies, all that good stuff. But I'm, I'm fine. I am perfectly fine now. Don't worry. So that's why I made no videos. But, you know, we back. Got to hit it hard. Got to go in. And let's do this and try to make it through this. And, you know, just make some good music. With that said, hope you guys enjoy it. Always, I know who it is. You're supposed to say, AKA Miss Different. Not motivated by money. But like, comment, subscribe, and views. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace, everybody. Eat.